Hello, Carol Undy here again with another Benina digitising tutorial. Today we're going to look at the sculptured fancy fill. That's this little icon here. It's not available yet because we haven't got an object on our screen. I'm going to use it with lettering today. So I'm going to right click on my lettering icon and I'm going to, I have my object properties here and I'm going to choose a capital S here in the lettering area and I'm going to choose the rounded block font. Whoops, too far. There it is. Okay, I'll just bring it in at the default settings for the moment. So I click on OK and left click on my screen where I want it. Now I'm just going to zoom into that to show you a little bit more about the letter. Okay, so if we go to our um, design view, so we'll click off show artistic and we can see that this is a satin stitch letter and we've got a few needle points there in the underlay but the overlay stitching is, the stitches are all on the outside so that we've got long satin stitches running from side to side. Now I've talked to you before about not using any sizes for letters outside the suggested sizes in the manual um, so that you get a decent stitch out but sometimes you want to make a letter a lot bigger and I'm going to just go back to show all from uh, sorry it was one to one for a moment and I'm going to make this letter quite large and if we zoom in again now we can see that we've got lots more needle points across because the satin stitches can't go all the way across the um, machine won't stitch right from there to there in one satin stitch so the software has broken it up and put extra needle points in so in artistic view we would actually see those needle points here so that's why it won't, the letters won't stitch out very nicely and besides that you would have a lot of pull on this on a letter stitched out and sat stitch this large even if these stitches blended in um, but you do notice them when they stitch out trust me now I'll just go back to one to one I'm going to leave it this large because as I said sometimes you want to make a letter this large so what I'm going to do is um, change the fill stitch of the letter. Now before I do that I want to show you how the letter is constructed so let's go back to um, our design view and let's click on our um, reshape object. Now the first thing you notice with lettering is that you don't get the normal um, little nodes around the letter to reshape. You only have uh, enlarging, stretching sideways, and the start and end point. But you can get these nodes back if you want to and you do that with the break apart tool. So let's go over here, this is the break apart tool, left click on that and now you've got all your nodes showing how the letter was actually formed originally. And you can see that there's lots of angles that this letter was digitized with all these angles inserted. Either block digitized or the angles were inserted using the um, Add, uh, add angles tool which is not available at the moment. I can remove angles here but I can't add any more to this letter. But um, in which case the angles were just drawn around the letter as needed. So there's two ways to get those curves in your letter. Now any object that has these angle lines through it can use the um, sculptured fancy fill tool and you can see it's now available. Let's go back to our artistic view and let's just and you can still see the angles probably even more clearly now. Let's get rid of those though. Let's go select. Before I use the sculpted fancy let's just see what happens with the letter. I'm going to um, change um, duplicate this so I've got three all together so I can show you the differences. So we'll copy and we'll paste it twice and now I've got three as you can see down here. Just check there because sometimes you can double click on your paste and end up with more copies than you need. And so I'm just going to move these apart 
and one down there and let's just center those in my hoop there now this is the satin stitch one this one here I'm going to now change to just fancy fill so select fancy there and I'm going to right click on it and change it to the emerald design there it is because I like the small size and it um, the design that went in there is okay but I prefer the emerald so we'll just apply that and go okay now you can see that because of the angles of the stitches going round this emerald um, pattern has been distorted um, this shows it up really quite well so you've got areas where you just like got columns of satin stitching and then you've got other areas where the emeralds have formed um, and so it's not a bad effect but it's not the one I want so this time I'm going to select the sculptured fancy for this one down here and it will put in the default one again but I'll just change it to emerald so that you can compare apply okay and here it is with the sculptured fancy so even though there were angle lines in here that that might you might have imagined would turn the design around it doesn't work the same as the sculptured fancy the sculptured fancy retains the integrity of the fancy feel and curves it around the shape um, it must have been quite a complicated thing to do as a programmer for the com for the software but it works so this well, when I did this I immediately thought of a snake doesn't it look like snake scales you could um, digitize yourself a snake in block digitizing and fill it with this it would look quite good but that's how you can create a large letter that will stitch out nicely because the fill in it is not a satin fill it's a fancy fill you could just use if we go up to this one you could just change that to step fill it will follow the curves around because it's been got angled digitizing that would stitch out better than the set the, than the satin stitch feel but still you've got a few spots here that don't look all that good um, and it's a bit to be honest a little bit boring so um, how about you play around with your contour fancy sculptured fancy I should say and see what you what you can do it's not just restricted to lettering but any object that has angled in the object so you can find that out as I showed you from the reshape tool reshape object on your object thank you very much